My name is Sophie, I'm 20 years old, and I'm studying psychology and women's and gender studies at Chapman University in California. I'm still at the beginning of my feminism journey. I'm still so young, I'm in my 20s, and it's already becoming so overwhelming realizing how much work needs to be done. And I've only just started studying feminism uh, in, in books and literature and getting an actual understanding of feminism that's more than just what the media tells me and more than just the limited ideas of feminism that I see in movies. I didn't grow up a feminist. I definitely grew up, um, I think, with a lot of internalized misogyny and really affected by the patriarchy. Um, I remember growing up as a little girl and like hating that I was a girl and hating that I was feminine and hating everything that was feminine and I remember saying that I wished I could just be a boy and I think that looking back on it there was a lot of internalized misogyny in that and I had already internalized at such a young age my own inferiority as a woman in the patriarchy. I remember being a child about 10 or 11 and having my doctor tell me that when I was older I would need labiaplasty and telling me at such a young age that this was a procedure that not only was it something that I might want but it was something I would need. I didn't learn until I was 18 years old that that wasn't something that I would need. I literally spent my entire, like most of my life, um, believing that this was something that I would need and that my body was abnormal and that my body wasn't sexy, that my body wasn't beautiful, that there was something wrong with my body. And this same doctor put me on birth control when I was about 11 or 12 years old. And I, I think that there's just this push to push medication and to push birth control without really understanding the issue. And especially when it comes to reproduct, uh, reproductive rights and when it comes to a woman's body, people don't care. Constantly being disrespected by gynecologists, constantly having my body sexualized. I had a gynecologist tell me um, that I should be used to being in pain. And I thought that maybe I was just being overly sensitive. And I think that that's such a big issue for every woman everywhere. And everything I'm saying right now, I'm sure seems like common sense to so many women because this is such a shared experience of our pain being invalidated, of being told that everybody experiences pain and being told that we are just being dramatic. People don't care what the issue is. People don't care about finding solutions. And I think that there are so many women out there like myself who have been receiving inadequate care. And I think that we're not really told to talk about these things. We're not told that it's okay to be vulnerable, to be angry. And I think that coming to terms with that anger and realizing that you are ang angry and that it's okay to be angry is just the first step to being vulnerable and creating those spaces and those connections. Anyone can be a feminist and everybody should be a feminist because everything is a woman's issue. Whoever you are, you have a place in the movement and feminism and the patriarchy does directly impact you whether or not you think it does. And I think that realizing how interconnected everything is in our food, in our language, in the things that we learn, in our books, everything in our society has to do with the patriarchy. And I think once you start to dissect that and really realize how deep and meaningful all of it is, it's it affects everybody.